What's up guys, this is Shambles11 and welcome to Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. This is the upcoming game uh, by Way Forward. Uh, this game comes out on March the 16th. Uh, will cost you $19.99 in America, $26.95 in Australia, £15.99 over here in the UK and $19.99 if you're in Europe. Uh, but there is rumours there will be 25% off for the first week the game is out. Now, this game... I'll be honest with you, I didn't know anything about this game at all. There are a series of these games. This is a sequel to a handheld game uh, from back in 2010. Uh, and when it first loaded up, I thought, oh my god, what the hell is this child's, I'll be honest, girl's rubbish game. How wrong was I? This game has been an absolute joy to play from start to finish i have loved this this is a proper old school side scrolling platformer uh it's done with absolutely as you can see just beautiful graphics the characters um the portraits are actually done by the same uh, people that did the mega man uh with the developers behind uh, that game so you know you can kind of see that this is steeped in some pretty cool side scrolling um old school kind of history um, the controls are nice and simple, uh, there's a fantastic learning curve, you slowly unlock more and more things, uh, but essentially we play as a genie who's lost her powers, uh, and we're trying to save our town, which as you can see is, starts off pretty quickly this game, it has become overrun and is being attacked. Uh, we became human uh, and lost all our powers, so we're slowly starting to get our powers back bit by bit. Um, strangely, our, our attack is to whip our hair back and forth. Uh, um, and as the game progresses, you slowly pick up more and more power-ups and pickups to help you along the way. There's some absolutely fantastic humour in this game, um, right the way throughout, really. And that what's nice is kind of the cutscenes link everything together really nicely there's these you know these little moments where these cartoon sort of sections turn up uh, you do hear them occasionally speak the odd word here and there nothing too much um, it is mostly reading um, but it's very entertaining stuff and, and fits in with the style of game beautifully um, it certainly doesn't take itself too seriously and and that really does make the difference with this game you know it's meant to be fun it's so bright, bold, and colourful. Uh, every world I've been to so far has, you know, looked the part. Um, there's one set in the desert. There's one that's got a spooky kind of uh, zombie world. There's, you know, areas stuck up in treetops. You go underground. Uh, you have to escape from a prison. I mean, there's real variation. Um, and what's nice is that, you know, the music fits each zone perfectly as well. Um, I have to stress this <laughs> whenever you see this guy save uh, it really does kind of it's a nod back to the olden times where you know you couldn't save at any point you had to get to a save point and there have been a couple of times where I didn't save I've died and that's it we have to go right the way back and I've lost half an hour and it's my own fault because I thought oh, I don't need to save I'll do this quick um, the bosses are huge over the top and uh, pretty fun in all honesty uh, as you can see we're straight away three minutes into the game we're fighting a boss um they're relatively straightforward i'm not saying that makes them easy but it's you know the old classic find the pattern and kind of hit them in between um this is me trying to get used to the controls hence i'm pausing everything there are various things you can buy from the vendor in town that will help you that will help upgrade your character as well as give you um food and health and potions to kind of boost your skills along the way uh, but it really is a case of find the weakness and once you defeat the boss i mean as you'll see they do kind of explode quite spectacularly um overall i just i i can't sing the praises of this game enough i as i say i went into it expecting nothing and i'm so pleasantly surprised this has actually stopped me playing the division a couple of times i've enjoyed it so much um and and really it's kind of the it's the depth in variety a lot of side scrolling games these days they come up with a great idea and and after kind of 10 minutes you've seen it all done it all um but this really does keep me coming back and part of that is because there are various collectibles to find um, we have squid 
which actually get four squid and you squish them together and gain health. Uh, there's also some um, hidden characters you have to defeat and grab their essence in your um, magic genie lamp. I know, sounds a bit odd. Uh, and you can't access them all straight away. You have to come back to levels once you've uh, gained various power-ups and, and items to help you traverse through the world a little bit easier. Um, here is one such one, you get the giant pirate hat which allows us to float up, which opens up a whole new game mechanic. And that's the cool thing with the various different collectibles and items, you know, as you upgrade your character, it does give you that nice learning curve where there are new things to do. Um, like I said, the bosses remain pretty impressive in size. Uh, you can see here that I've got the pirate musket. Uh, again, it just kind of adds uh, an element not only just to the fighting but also the puzzle aspect. There are various switches you can't reach, you have to shoot, um, you know, time switches, that sort of thing. Classic sort of platforming elements that are all well and truly present in this game. Um, and like I say, the humour just keeps coming, uh, the art style is absolutely fantastic. Um, and it's all the way through it's a nice break it doesn't get in the way of anything it's just you know uh, a change of pace that's quite welcome um, like I say uh, this is out March the 16th I highly recommend it um, you can uh, yeah, pre-order it right now um, get 25% off the first week the game's out so do hurry uh, get in there and take advantage way forward I mean have absolutely knocked out the park with this one they are uh, a pretty good company to keep an eye out uh, in the future for other ID at Xbox games if you do like this uh, please do leave me a message I'd be interested to hear kind of from uh, my younger viewers as well as us old farts uh, I, I love it because it is a nod to old school retro gaming platforming um, you know very much reminds me of my SNES and Mega Drive games I'd be very interested to hear people's thoughts that are maybe a bit younger and didn't grow up with that kind of thing just make sure you know you don't mind seeing uh, squids being smashed in the head by a giant hammer um, if you found this useful, informative, fun good, uh, not too bad uh, you can put up with it, please do give me a thumbs up leave me a little comment below, thank you ever so much for watching till next time